So good morning guys and welcome to another Project Win video. Today we're talking about these two weapons. So driver and three wood for me, both essential clubs to have in the bag, but I feel very confident with this one and not always so confident with this one. So what are the differences? Let's go. Yes guys, so as you'd know, if you've watched a few course vlogs, I love this club. This club has been around for ages. So I've got the Sonatec in the three wood. And when I pick it up, it just inspires confidence. It would be for obviously years of using it and bits and pieces. But this club here, as much as I love it at times, doesn't always go according to plan. So what are the main differences between these two? I pick this up and this feels really nice and heavy and it feels like it. I know where it is within my swing. This just feels a little light, which got me thinking. I wonder what the swing weight is. Okay guys, so swing weight. So some of you might not be familiar with the term swing weight. So ultimately it's the measure of the weight of the head of the golf club and the way it feels to you. So obviously put more weight on this end, it's gonna feel quite heavy to you. We put more weight maybe the other end and it's gonna feel the complete opposite, gonna feel quite light in the head. So this may be the reason that driver doesn't feel quite as nice in the hand to me, because that swing weight of my driver should be at D4, but we'll see where it is in a minute when I measure it. So my favorite club in the bag, I'm gonna measure that first. So all I do is slide this weight along, you can see it tipping. If I go one end to the other, you can see that it tips. So I've got a scale here, so I'm just gonna work along to where it starts to balance. So let's have a go somewhere Oh, not quite a bit heavy. Let's go there. If you can see that swinging in here, it's going to start to settle. So we just don't want it to hit the top or the bottom of the gauge. So if that starts to settle there, what have we got? So that is swing weighting at D3. So D3. So there's a scale from on this one in particular. We've got it all the way in a wood scale from B5 to E9 on here. So they're different in terms of it's just a scale that we can get to. So fairly heavy in the head. So now the tailor-made driver that I've got should swing weight in the head weight as D4. So let's see what it does. Okay, so driver time. So just pop it in the scale, sit it through the gauges. And this is already set to D3 and this hasn't moved. So that's not a good sign. So I'm just gonna make it lighter in the head and we've gone the other way slightly. So let's go to, oh, this is gonna be light for a driver, I think. So just starting to tip there, just go back a little bit. That is very light, that might be the reason. Just a little bit more. Okay, so C8. So C8, so we've got five swing weight points between where my three wood sits and where my driver sits, and my driver sits lighter than my three wood. Okay, so C8, C8 is light. I'm gonna add some weight to the head end of this club See if I can get it close to where three wood's gonna sit. Because every time I pick three wood up, I've got a lot of confidence. I like the way it feels within the swing. So matching that down with driver is, might instill some confidence. It's interesting, I've swapped recently back from two layers of tape under a fairly heavy grip to a lighter weight grip and one layer of tape. The driver has felt better since that grip's gone on. Because obviously I've taken some weight out of this end of the club. It's then allowed me to feel the head just a little bit more. So maybe just adding a little bit more weight in there is gonna be really beneficial. Now, guys, this is no by no means a scientific thing. I'm not saying it has to be at D4. There's a lot of players on tour and around the world that use clubs of very differing swing weights. Garcia, for example, will put weight in this end of the shaft. That is to make the dead weight, so the complete weight of the golf club quite heavy. So he, he would then um, swing or have the boys on the tour van swing weight that out to whatever he sets it at but there is people that set those parameters so to speak 
very differently to the way it would come out of the factory. So if it does feel light, maybe that's something to have a look at. If it feels too heavy, we, you can then maybe add some weight in the other end and sort of try and get rid of that heavy weight in the end of the club. So 10 grams of weight needs to go in this end and the way I'm going to do that is just some lead tape. So sticky back lead tape, the easiest way to do it, I can put it on and then take it off so you don't have to be worried about it being in. If you push it into the end of the shaft like you could do, once it's in there, very difficult to get it back out. Right, let's get that weight on. Okay, so lead tape comes in a roll, sticky backed. All I've done is cut off a little, couple of little sections, just short little sections in here, and we're just going to see by adding one to the end what that would do and where we can get it to. So I'm just going to fold this over. It's a good thing about it being lead, you can just fold it over, add that to that end before I start to stick it on. You can see now it's dropped this side and stayed there, so that's a good thing. So if we move that key coming back. We've got that to oh, D1. We've got that to now. Not quite. Yep, D1. So back into balance point. Just moved across. Maybe slightly less. No, it's got to D0. So still a little bit more. So another bit of lead tape. Wrap that round there. Again, you'll see it's the scales drop down, so that's a good thing. So we go to D2. Okay, so that's now at D2. So it's still two swing weights away from where Taylor made say it should be at standard. I will cut a little bit more off and see if that will that will how that will go from there. But I'm pretty happy with it being at D2. D3 with the with the three wood, obviously just being a little bit lighter in the driver, just so obviously we're going to be trying to move that a little quicker. But that is going to be a big, big change in weight. So that's the main thing. That change in weight is going to really allow me to feel the headway a bit more, know where the club is within my swing. Right, I think I'm going to try a D2, give it a whirl on the course, and see how it goes. Okay, guys. So out on the course now and the lead tape is on, I don't know if you can see it, just on the turn on the heel there, trying to spread that weight across. So we got it to D2, now we're gonna see what it feels like and hit a few shots. So just by doing those practice swings, it feels so different feels so much heavier, so much more like my three wood in the head. So a big, big change in feel for me, just with two bits of weight. Now, it's amazing the amount of difference that just those two bits of lead tape have made. It makes so, such a, such a difference. So there we have it guys, the swing weight in my driver changed to D2. So over the winter when I'm not going to be playing that many competitions, especially now until into the new year, it's worth having that experiment when out playing some social games just to see how that feels and then maybe doing it a little bit more. If I do like that, the feel of the way the head feels at that weight is then having a look at how that tape can go on a little bit more strategically so it's not going to alter the numbers in my driver that's something I need to be like having a little look at if that is going to be a permanent measure I need to be looking at where I put that lead on the on the head and how that can affect either the shape of the shot or the numbers that that driver produces but that will be for another time look out in the next video I'm going to be playing golf over the uh, Christmas period with some of the lads in a couple of social games so going to bring those across to you as well just to help out in terms of how the swing changes are feeling how my scoring's going etc so guys 
that is all for me from this project win thank you so so much for watching if you'd like to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already that would be great if you'd like to give the video a thumbs up that will help us out and if you hit subscribe that will get you all of our content free of charge as soon as we upload it and guys i'll speak to you again very soon thanks a lot